Hey guys, how are we today? This week I wanted to touch upon a style, a sleek back pony style, which was brought to me by someone on my YouTube channel. So today with another lovely model of mine, I'll introduce you to her later, um, I am going to show you how to do so. Let's get started. Hey again guys, this is my lovely model Selena. She's gonna be helping me out today. So to start, her hair is a couple days old. She had spruced it up with some dry shampoo. With this particular style, um, a sleek style, or um, any sort of style where you're doing intricate work with braiding and whatnot, you want the hair to have a little bit of fluff or texture. Um, so when the hair is clean, it's more slippery and moisturized and hydrated, which is what we want, but it's also more harder to work with when we want um, either volume or if we want our hair to do what we want to it, it's gonna be easier to mold. Um, so how I started off was straightening her hair because obviously we want this pony to be nice, straight, and sleek. Um, this will be good for anything simple going out, um, business casual, work hair, anything like that. It's a very fun, simple style that you can do. So I'm gonna start off with parting her hair. So you can do it any which way you want, depending on what look you're going for. You can either do it in the middle, you can do a deep side part on either side or a regular side part, whichever you're going for, whichever look. I'm gonna do a deep side part today just to show a little bit more dramatic to the style. Um, so I would recommend either using a comb such as this or a regular comb such as this to part the hair and also to fine tune it in the end, but we will get to that. So I am just going to go in and part her hair. Nice and straight. Perfect. That's what we want. So I am going to go in and brush the hair, make sure the hair is all going the same way. And then to start, I would either get a texture gel or a smoothing cream, something that's gonna help weigh down the hair, surprise, either a Mika. Um, today I'm gonna use a little bit of the texture gloss just to switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna rub it in my hands like lotion that's how you're going to evenly distribute it without coating the hair too much. And I'm just going to go over it, weighing down all of the flyaways, smoothing the hair how I want it to look. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do with a fine tooth comb is I'm going to comb it back in the direction that I want it to go and how I want it to look. So with this, um, perfect. So it might split in the back a little bit with the part. It might do a little funky thing like that. Sometimes you're gonna cut the part a little short, just like that, just brushing it down, just so it's making it more of a cohesive look. So we're gonna keep on molding it to how we like it. So the next tool that you would need is a smoothing brush. So I wouldn't recommend just any wet brush because this is great for detangling hair. The bristles are farther apart, but for a smoothing style, you're gonna want bristles that are more closer together. So I usually at home, I have a boar bristle brush or I have a teasing comb. So they're very fine tooth bristles and they're very close together. So that's gonna help with smoothing just like this brush. So you're gonna go in and smooth this back. Again, shaping it to how you like it. If you want a lower pony, a mid pony, you can play with that. And that's why you don't wanna to put too much product in just yet because that is going to make it harder for you to make the hair nice and concise. So you get it to where you like it. As you can see, I'm holding the hair like this in my hand. And you wanna go underneath. And once we 
get it to a spot that we like, like this mid pony, we're gonna go back and we're gonna grab more of either the cream or the gel, texture gel. You can squeeze some of it out on your working area and steal from that. So we're gonna smooth, because again, the more you put on, the more, you can think of it as like wet cement, if you will. Um, obviously when it's wet, you're able to change it and mold it to how you like it. But when it dries, that's when you're gonna have a harder um, time making this style to what you like. So right now I'm just kind of smoothing all of her flyaways right now. And then I'm gonna go back in with the brush and I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. So now that I have the hair all brushed out, you would grab your hair tie. And what you're gonna do, hold it like a regular hair tie and you're going to carefully wrap it around. And I would say about three times. Make sure that's nice and tight and secure. And what you're going to do is just lightly Squeeze it on the sides and then squeeze it up and down, just like this. And we are going to make our fine tune adjustments in the end, but again, you want to get the ponytail nice and secured. So you're going to squeeze on the outsides and then up and then down and then squeezing that as well. So you get an even pull on these hairs as well as these hairs. So once we have that all figured out, we are going to do the finishing touches. So what I like to do with a lot of my styles when I'm finishing them is grab that fine tooth comb again and we're just going to go in around the hairline and just kind of shape that and make sure it looks nice and swooped. Now we're gonna go in on this side and do the same thing. Just make sure it's nice and precise. And you just wanna be really gentle. You don't wanna rip through the hair because again, we want it to be nice and uniform. And you can go around the whole head and just lightly do this as well, just to tie it all in together. And I'm just lightly picking at it. And you want to do more of a swoop motion in these front pieces. And then a couple more squeezes in the back. And then that's where you want to grab either your moisture cream or your hairspray. I'm going to use hairspray this time, a touchable hairspray, to spray back any flyaways that she might have. And once you have that all done, we need to tie it together, of course. So when we're going for this look, as I said, we want it clean and precise. So we do not want to see this hair tie. So what you're going to do is, you see how long your hair is. Whatever length hair you have, you're going to grab one of the longest pieces back underneath. Depending on how thick your hair is, I'm taking about maybe almost a half inch of hair back here. And we are going to wrap it around the pony a couple times. Make sure that's nice and secured. And you can see it gives it more of a fierce look. You're gonna grab a regular bobby pin, just like this. And you're going to put it around the hair just like that. And what you're going to do is shove it in the middle of. 
So I had just shoved that bobby pin up in the middle of the ponytail. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but I shoved it literally back into itself. Um, so you're not necessarily gonna feel that bobby pin in there, um, but it's gonna keep this piece of the hair secured so it gives you that clean pony look. So we are going to put in the final <laughs> bloopers. <laughs> We're gonna put in the final touches. So for the final touches, I always like, especially again for this type of style, an oil that's gonna help weigh down more flyaways. Um, and it's also going to give your hair that shiny look. Cause if you're using a lot of gel and hairspray, it's gonna give it that matte look um, or even dry look and you don't want that. So you're just gonna rub your hands together like lotion and then go over the hair once again. And definitely get it through the ponytail. So it gives it nice, sleek vibes in the back, just like this. And you can give it one little more spritz of a harder hairspray. On either side, just a little nice mist. And you can even go a little tiny bit on the ponytail just to hold it together. But this would be your final look right here. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. So thank you guys for watching. And I will definitely be posting more content soon. Make sure to like and subscribe on my new YouTube page. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah. Bye.